You know, before our conversation last night, I messaged all her kids and I asked them, if you were to describe your mom in one word, ano yun? And yung eldest niya, she said to me that to her, her mom is selfless. She even wrote the reason why. Because she always put others above herself, sabi ni Dad. And then si Julia, sabi naman niya, to her, her mom is unbreakable. Kay Claudia, sabi niya, my mom is resilient. Si Leon naman ang sabi niya sa akin, my mom is strong. And si Erich, hindi siya pumayag na one word na. <laughs> Two words. For her, her mom is courageous and beautiful. Ang sarap pakinggan na this is how my children see me as a mother. So we have with us a strong mother. Miss Marjorie Barreto. Oh, God! God. <laughs> Umpisa pa lang. That's so happy and, I don't know, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Oh my gosh, happy Mother's Day to you too. And look, isa pa lang, I didn't know that, ha? How did you become a strong mother? Well, first of all, you don't have a choice, di ba? I had, I had my first child at 19. Hindi yun plan, di ba? Like, once you become a mother, you're a mother for life. And that's 24-7. Walang resignation, walang retirement. Walang day off. No day off. That's forever, so... I think God just gives us that grace and strength na it comes siguro out of our love na lang for our kids. I think I was strong at a young age. Eh. So right away, kasi when I have a problem, Tony, right away, I, I get to it. Para I rise above right away. I don't give myself time to, to cry, to fall apart, even to cry. Okay. But I don't know nga eh. Sometimes I want to cry na nga eh. Diba? Parang I want to have that one good cry, di ba? Parang feeling ko, that can come later on. I have to fix this first. And then Danny and I were alone also. Di ba? Because I didn't have her father with me, di ba? So, I think umpisa kay Danny yun. What did you learn about yourself when you had that? No, my strength. My, also my independence. Mm-hmm. I practically grew up with her. If you think about it, di ba? I've been a mom for almost 28 years. Iniisip ko, ang hirap na nga maging nanay as it is, but to become a public figure, mm-hmm. kasi you have the public like watching you, judging you, they have their perception, they have their assumptions about Uh-oh. you, and you have dealt with that your whole life. My whole life. My whole life. And you're right. It's just like, because everything is made public, and mas nauuna yung judgment pa kaysa sa, minsan pa nga, ito pa lang nangyayari may kwento na sila pagkatapos na. Mm-hmm. It really does make it harder. But now that I see my kids are older, I think it's rewarding when they're older. Um, rewarding in the sense na you'll see like when I still worry about them, kunyari ganyan nga, yung judgment or bashing or what like that. They all get it ah. All of them, wala namang spared, di ba? So mga anak ko. I want to start worrying about them and then I realize they're strong on their own. Mm-hmm. They're so strong na. So parang nakita ko na kung ano siguro ang strength nakita nila sa akin, na-pick up na rin nila yun. I was given the opportunity to talk to Danny and Julia for my other show, yung I Feel You. Yes, yes. And I love what Julia said na when there's a problem, you deal with it as a family and you have your own bubble that no one can penetrate. And then si Danny naman, she always says na her wisdom, yung wisdom na meron sila, is because of you. I think a lot of their wisdom comes from also experience. Kasi siguro people think that they're spoiled or madali naging buhay nila. Hindi ganun yun. Claudia is very eloquent because she reads so much. And she's she's taking up psychology. So she has a better understanding of people. Human. Oo. She, she was that child na hindi mo na kailangan alagaan. She was very independent from as a kid, very organized. As a kid, she knows how to pack her own thing. She has her own way. Ganyan. So, the wisdom naman of Julia comes from all her experiences from the industry. And she grew up in the industry. She grew up in the industry. And when she wanted to enter the business, I really said no. She really had to 
cry and I said, oh, it's cruel. It's different world. What made you say yes? She really was crying and she said, I know I can handle anything. So her wisdom comes from a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of forgiveness, a lot, so much. Si Julia, akala siguro naman ng tao about her is like, Ah, bata lang yan, yun, yun. You cannot underestimate her strength. That girl, like sometimes, like I'm like, Jule, ako na yung nagwo worry for her. No, mom, you know, no, it's nothing. It's gonna, she's strong, she's strong. Si, si Dani, her, her wisdom is from because she probably had to grow up with me. I think she was really left with no choice. So, amongst all of my children, whatever parenting mistakes I've made, I made it with her. Because she's my first. I see that in Dani now that she's a mom and she's a wife. I see her strength. You know how she's on top of everything. And I thought, Tonya, I thought growing up, sabi ko, parang to si Dani yung rebelde. Ito yung, ito yung, ito yung anak ko na, parang hindi nakikinig sa akin. Parang pag sinabi ko to, baliktad yung gagawin and all. But now that she's a mom and a wife, I see like, oh my gosh, everything that I told her, Hindi niya siguro sinunod ka agad, but it was in her. And Leon also has his strengths. He's so smart. He's so like... He's so tall. He's so tall. <laughs> Six four. That had nothing to do with my parenting. <laughs> but he's so tall and he's so handsome and he's such a good student. He has such great grades. And even without me telling my son, you have to do this, you have to be responsible because you're the only man in my house. Only one talaga, the only one. He's the man of the house. He's the man of the house. He became responsible on his own. Pero marami akong pagkukulang kay Leon because, because he's a boy. No one's ever taught him how to play the basketball or ride a bike or, you know. And man stuff. I'm so glad he forgives me for that. You know, mm. there's so many things na hindi na experience because it was only me. Mm. ba? But he's so nice about it. And so helpful with me. Yeah, so vlog. So vlog. Siya ang cameraman. Kung wala siya, walang vlog. <laughs> and then Erich is nine years old, but she's wise beyond yeah, her nine years, years old. So. She gives us really good advice and um, she's strong for us. And she knows everything that happens in the house. Alam niya kung may scandal, may ganito, may ganyan. May... She knows. She's aware. And she's very understanding and she's so wise about it and very calm. Pag nagkahagulo na calm siya, she knows how to, to, she knows when to be strong. Hindi siya nagpa-baby-baby pag may ano. Pag may crisis and the fact. So, I think that's my reward. You know, God gave me all these kids and alam ko ang yung mga anak ko, all I really want is to equip them for the outside world. And I think they're more than equipped. Speaking of public scrutiny and judgment, your kids had their fair share. No, oh, yes. especially Julia. Oh wow, yes. Pero as a mother, to listen to all the judgment, yes. the assumptions, yes, yes, the yes. narrative of this story that's been going on for two years, yeah. almost two years now. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a mother, paano mo hinahandle to? Julia's been through so much um, issues since uh, she was sixteen. Since said. she was sixteen. Um, and she can really handle herself for that. She's very strong. But sometimes, it is so frustrating when you know the truth. Alam na alam ko, you know the struggle of not talking? Yung hindi ka... Hindi, kasi, I don't know kung people please ako to. Maybe ayaw kong isipin ng taong palingkera ako. Ganyan. Pero meron akong moments I tell you and I always tell my kids, I want to remind that person who can always hits on my daughter that, buhay pa nanay niya ha? Buhay na buhay ako. You better know when to stop. Bashers, they don't count. To be honest, I don't wanna, I mean, this is not addressed to them because uh, just block and believe and they're out of our lives. You know what I mean? It's when these people who continuously tries to paint um, really an ugly picture of my daughter. I think they just have to be reminded that there is my hangganan. I can be nice and I can be quiet. But when I do talk, I tell the truth. So 
to the old Miss Del Julia. Ako naman, I tell her, just say, just say when, I'll, I'll talk. Ay, ayaw niya eh. She doesn't want to know what mom, it's okay. Feeling a hand, she can still handle it eh. She can still handle it. But I think she also saw that in me. She saw that in me, na kahit ano nang ina-accuse sa akin, I just keep quiet. You know, I let, you know, I let things just... Nakikita niya yun sa akin, kaya siguro ganun siya. What's the worst part about that whole controversy for you? Can I say, I felt somebody was milking it. Parang, it was just, it's just not the story. Pero hindi masyadong masakit ito. Mas masakit sa akin yung um, issue kay Julia before with her dad. That was more painful for me. This one, kasi this person's not part of our lives naman, di ba? Mas masakit sa akin when Julia was younger and the issue about her dad. So that was more painful for me because I couldn't protect her um, so much without her going against another parent. Yeah. What do you admire most about Julia? Mabait si Julia. Mm -hmm. Julia, what I admire about Julia right now is she is she is looking out for herself. Like now she she'll do what makes her happy, what brings her peace. De ba marunong na siya na okay. She'll look out for herself, your happiness, niya, your peace, niya, what make, whatever makes her happy, whatever brings her peace. What did you learn about your past relationships? What's the greatest thing that you learned about them? My love relationships? Yeah. Oh, wow. Natinuro ko sa mga anak mo. Oh, tinuro ko? First of all, not to speak ill of your ex. This is really a lesson I've taught my kids. And Julia has experienced bad relationships, but you won't hear her speak ill of them. Um, I teach that. I teach independence to my daughters. Um, you never to run after a man. Pag, pag ayaw na. Totoo yun. I mean, pag kakunyari, um, lalo na pag boyfriend and girlfriend, like, this is the time that you choose What's best for you? This is really the time for it. So I teach them that all the time. You can ask them this. Pagka may warning signs, pay attention. Huwag hindi na sobrang mahal ko tong tao, hindi ko na, hindi ko na papansinin to. Yung ganun, hindi yun. So you have to be treated well, with respect. I always say, pagka nawala na yung respeto, that's it. And I tell my kids, you know, I made so many mistakes in my life for a reason so that you guys don't have to go through it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very open about my mistakes. It's for you to learn. If I keep keep it from you, I don't, it defeats the purpose of of all my experiences. Do you have a big say, Miss March, sa love life and kids? No. I don't make pakialam their love life. Pagkakunyari, one of my kids have a relationship ng away ng away na walang kwenta, I'll say, oh, you know what? Kung ngayon palang away na kayo ng away, what if when the real problem comes, ubus na kayo? Kung nakikipag-usap lang yung ikaw sa ibang lalaki, nagwawala na yung boyfriend, paano pag may totoong crisis na sa buhay nyo, ubus na yung energy nyo? Diba? Oh, so you talk to them lang like that? Pero there was never a time na pag yan, binoyfriend mo? Ah, never. Oh, never. 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 And then I pray. I pray pagka talaga nakikita ko, this is not good for my daughter. I pray. <laughs> Tapos pag break na, pinagdasal ko yon. <laughs> oh, pinagdasal ko na, oh, ganun na lang. You know, the power of prayer na lang. Kasi parang I'm scared. Kung the more I will tell them, na wag, lalong maiintriga. Pero they'll tell you rin niya, Mom, no, you were right. Pero alam mo, Miss March, ngayon na nanay na ako. Talagang, I have to say this. Lahat ng sinabi ng mami ko before, She was right. She's 100%. 100%. And it was hard for me to admit it in my 20s. But now that I am a mother, I'm sure si Dani. Yes. Si Dani, na-realize na, na, niya. Kasi ng 20s, hindi namin naiintindihan yun eh. Ang tingin namin sa inyo, parang kontrabida. Yeah. Parang, oh, she's hindering my happiness. Yeah. She doesn't want me to grow and experience yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah. I told Julia that before. There will be so many people who will pretend to care for you or have concern for you. But if there's that one person na never kang papahamak, who will give you the best advice na who will make sure it's the mom. Yes. The one who gave birth to you. At hindi ka talaga niya, hindi ka niya 
hindi ka na tatay do rin eh. Parang ganun ang tingin ko doon eh. Then, so, if there's so many people like that, just listen to me. She listens. Oh, she listens to me. She just released the blood. Oh, yeah. I about, just took um, <laughs> Yeah, diba? With her father. What would you want the people to take away from that conversation that Julia had with her father? With her dad? Um, first of all, I'm happy that um, that they're, they're in that kind of relationship on it. People misjudged me thinking that I was encouraging um, my kids not to have a good relationship with their father. As a matter of fact, even Dennis thought for a long time that I was the one preventing him from seeing my kids. Um, no way. In the I I want my kids to have peace um, with both parents. Because I don't want them to harbor hatred or unforgiveness in their hearts. Because it's big at yon. Lalo na kung kung magulang mo yung kaaway mo, mabigat, mabigat dahil yon. He and I have been separated for more than 14 years. I never thought the day would come that he would say, na. Uh, may kasalanan din siya sa breakup namin, sa, sa breakdown ng marriage namin. That he said that, naman, I am, um, you know, it was his temper, it was his anger. Because for a long time, I was wondering, I was with him for such a long time. I know I was a good wife. I know I was there in more downs than ups. I know that I forgave him over and over and over again. So I was wondering, why he didn't remember me as a good wife? Or why wasn't he spending that much time with his kids? But that's all over now. I would like for him to continue his new journey as a less angry person, um, para ma-enjoy niya na the remaining years of his life na, na he's part of all of his free children's from, life. Free from happiness. Free from anger. Yes. Ako kasi, Tony, I have selective memory. You know who has that, Julia, amongst all my kids? When when an event is too painful, shut down. I shut down. And and it's crazy because people are like, you really forget? So I really wish, um, I wish that for Dennis, I really wish that the remaining years of his life would be enjoying na lang his children. Yun, I advise yun talaga to me. I really love my kids. Um, Wag talaga mag-keep ng hatred. Hatred sa heart. Kasi talaga mabigat. And you know, some people will think na, who am I to say that? I'm not in good terms with my two other sisters. I don't, it's not out of hate. It's out of peace muna. Parang there's just more peace when, when there's space. in that space. Parang there's just too much pain. Na it's just gonna be more peaceful kung hindi ba din. But it doesn't mean that karga karga ko araw araw na nagikisig ako galit na galit sa hindi eh. hindi ganon eh. If there is no more hate, there's no more grudge. But you're just giving that space. Where are you right now emotionally? Definitely not from a place of hate. Well, I don't before. look back at it na masakit pa yung dibdib ko or or I won't wish ill of them. Na ba pagalit ka pag hate mo yung tao, de ba? Gusto mo masamang mangyari. Wala ako dun sa wala ako dun. It's not coming from a place of unforgiveness. Yeah, just I just want peace. Pero when you talk about peace, I see it this way na parang you are also at peace with people not knowing your side of the story. Yeah. Na you, you don't have to prove yourself to anyone, you don't have to defend yourself yeah. anymore because you are just sitting on that peace and you know your truth. Yeah. I can shut down from from the judgment of other people. There's so much that they don't really know that goes on behind that story. And I refuse to share. We are public figures, but we are not public property. Because at the end of the day, kahit anong sikat mo, pag uwi mo, you are normal like anybody else. We have the same problems, we have the same needs, the same, you know what I mean? So parang, I want to protect that side of us because that side of the fame or that's not forever. You know, so ito na lang po protektahan ko. And I know how to shut down from judgment. Um, 
I, I know how to not listen to, to the bad things they say. I know myself more. I know my children more. And I know they all have good hearts. I'll share something to you, Miss Mark. It's so beautiful. Don't give them a taste of their own medicine. Don't give them a taste of their own medicine because they already know what it tastes like. Give them a taste of your own medicine. If they lied, let your medicine be honesty. If they played with your emotions, let your medicine be maturity. If they broke you, let your medicine heal. If they made you cry, let your medicine make them smile. These remedies of yours may take years to work, but they work and they last. So be patient, stay true to yourself, and remember this, it is better for people to value you for who you are, not for who you pretend to be. Yeah, wow. Who you are lasts for a lifetime, and who you pretend to be changes like the change of seasons. So when you were saying this to me, and we were talking about the judgment of the outside, this is what I learned in this whole conversation with people, I guess, because I never asked them the question, describe me, diba? So I'm thinking now from all that you said, that how my kids describe me, I think I just want to live a life that I get my children's approval. And I think as long as I, I make them happy and I make them proud, it really doesn't matter what other people We'll think about it. Just like what Miss Marjorie said, for as long as you know the people that truly matter in your life, the rest is all just noise. Because to her kids, she's beautiful, selfless, resilient, strong, and courageous. Julia said it best. Their mom is unbreakable. <laughs>